Hi, and welcome to my updated version of the Biohazard Quest. The quest requirement is Plague City, and there are no stat requirements. However, having 33 agility will speed things up by about 30 seconds. The items needed are simply 40 coins and a gas mask. If you've lost the gas mask from the Plague City quest, you should bring some dwellberries into the most northwestern house of East Ardoin. Talk to the woman inside and she will trade dwellberries for a gas mask. Dwellberries can be picked up from its spawn in McGruber's Woods up north or in a food store of the Grand Tree Northwest. For the recommended items, one full stamina potion or a couple of energy potions will be enough, as well as some weight reducing clothing and a weapon to kill a combat 13. For the teleports, one teleportation method to Ardoin or two teleports to the fishing guild if you have access to the skills necklace. I'm going to be using the fishing trawler minigame teleport, one teleport to Varrock and one teleport away after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is basically at the same location as the Plague City quest, just go across the street to the house of Elena. Let's go inside and talk to her. Select option 1 to start the biohazard quest. After speaking to her, we will need to head across the river. If you have 33 agility, then make sure to use the log balance to get across straight away. If you do not, then you will need to run south, towards the castle, and then make a U-turn to go to Jericho's house. Jericho's house is the one directly south of the bank, the one with a water source sign and some item spawns. Let's head inside and talk to Jericho. After talking to him, we'll need to search his cupboard. Open and then search the cupboard. And next, go east and take one of the pigeon cages located outside. Next, let's go southwest. Between the East Ardoin Castle and the West Ardoin Wall, you'll find a watchtower, with on top some mourners paying attention to the West Ardoin Wall. Surrounding that watchtower, you'll find a spear wall. We will need to right-click on the bird feed and use this on either of the two watchtowers. Right-click on the bird feed and use this on either of the two watchtowers. Do so, and then open the pigeon cage so that the mourners are distracted. Next, we will need to make our way south to Omort, who is located between a tree spirit and southwest of the Hazil Cult Mansion. On the way there, make sure to equip your gas mask. Then, once you've equipped it, talk to Omort and select option 1 to get inside, to get smuggled in West Ardoin. Next, let's run north. And we'll need to make our way to the most northeastern house. West of the most eastern house, we will find a rotten tomato spawn. We will need to pick that up. Pick up the rotten apple, not the rotten tomato, from the spawn. And then squeeze through the fence. Next to the fence, we'll find a cauldron. Right click and use the rotten apple on the cauldron, then squeeze through the fence and run southwest to the nurse's office. In there, we'll find a cupboard in which there is a medical gown. The nurse's building is located southwest of the church and south-southeast of the graveyard of the teleport spawn of West Ardoin. Let's open and search the cupboard of the nurse's office to find a gown. Next, let's go back to the Moorer's hideout, which is the most northeastern building. Equip our medical gown and let's open the door. Once we have ended, let's go into the western room and climb up the staircase. 
In that room upstairs we'll find a mourner. Defeat it to obtain a key to gain access into the small gated room area. Once you've obtained the key, open the gate and search the most northeastern crate to find the distillator. Once we have this, we will need to make our way back to Elena. There are two ways to do this. You can either use your skill necklace teleport to teleport to the fishing guild and run straight south, or if you don't want to use that, then exit the house the way you came from through the front door, then make your way to the center of West Ardoin, just like in a Play City quest, and climb down the manhole. Climbing through the manhole will teleport you straight to Elena's parents' yard. From there, it is just a small walk to Elena. Let's provide her the distillator, and she will give us some liquid honey, Athenia, sulfuric broline, and a plague sample. Next, we will need to make our way to Remington. The fastest way would probably once again using the skills necklace to the crafting guild and running straight south to Remington, but the second fastest way would be to go to the southeastern part of East Ardoin and take in the ship for 30 coins straight to Remington. By the way, you may drop the key and the pigeon cage to drop some weight. The gas mask is also no longer required. Let's travel to Remington. And once we have arrived here in Remington, south of Melzar's maze, let's go inside the building and talk to the chemist. Select option 2 about your quest. Next, we'll need to talk to the three guys around the campfire just outside. Also, you'll receive some touch paper. Let's talk to Hops and select option 3. You will need to give him Sulfuric Broline. Next, talk to Da Vinci and select option 1 to give him a vial of Athenia. Next, talk to Chansey north of the campfire and select option 2 to give him some liquid honey. Next, we will need to make our way to Varrock. So, run or teleport to Varrock using the Chronicle or the Varrock teleport and let's go into the clothing store. Let's treat Cecilia and buy a priest gown as well as a priest gown bottom for 5 coins each. Next, we will need to make our way to the restricted area southeast of Verak, which is the area with the quest start of the Family Crest quest, located just east of Arbury's Rune Shop of the Rune Mysteries quest. In that area is the Dancing Donkey Inn, which is the place we have decided to meet the three NPCs. Once in the inn, let's talk to Hops to get the... I don't know what it is, Broline. Let's talk to Chansey for the honey, I think. And then let's talk to Da Vinci to get the Athenia. Next, exit the inn and enter the most southeastern building. On the way there, equip both the priest gowns and let's enter the eastern room. Let's talk to Gaidor and select option 1. The old man in the rocking chair. And he will test the plague sample with some touch paper and the other ingredients. And there is no plague. So let's finish completing this quest by making our way back to Alina in Ardoin. Simply use your quest reward from the Plague City quest to teleport straight to East Ardoin, or use your final fishing guild teleport on your skills necklace. Or, if you don't want to use any of these teleports, you could also use the minigame teleport to Fishing Trawler if you have 15 or higher fishing.
once back at Alina's, let's open the door and talk to her that there is no plague. And she will redirect this to the king. So, after speaking to her, let's head south into the castle of East Ardoin. Let's talk to King Lathis to complete our quest, and congratulations, you are awarded with 3 quest points, 1250 thieving experience, ability to use the combat training camp north of Ardoin, which is an easy diary requirement, ability to freely go through the gate between East and West Ardoin, as well as ability to use the West Ardoin teleport on the Archaea spellbook. Now, if you want to, the king will also ask you to start the underground path quest. But I am not going to be doing that quest at 1 agility, since Regicide, the following up quest, requires 56. So to me, the underground path quest also requires an invisible 56 agility. But anyway, subscribe, hit the comment. Okay, thanks, bye.